We repent because we have a Father who dearly loves us. When I think about, when I read this passage and I think about repentance, I go back to Luke 15. If you're not familiar, go and read it, but it's the story of the prodigal son. The son, the the father gives him everything. He asks to go and take all of his father's inheritance, and he goes off and he lives the life that his father tells him not to live. And my, and then then the son comes back, and and my reaction, if I was the father, is I told you so. What, What? You didn't listen. Shame on you. You didn't listen. Oh, you want you want me to take care of you? Well, I mean, go do ten years of work, and then I'll let you have everything that I said I was going to give you. I mean, just just being honest, not much mercy there. But the father is totally different. The father is literally standing every day waiting for his son to return. And when his son returns, there are no questions. There are no I told you so's. There's an embrace, love, and then a party that the son's returned. Why do we repent? Because we have a father who desperately and dearly loves us, who longs for us, and who wants the best for us. So we refuse to live in that sin that we might experience the love of God like he wants us to.